hello guys and welcome back to my channel firewall gan today we are going to talk about maestro hyperscale network security solution we will talk security groups we will also brief about and discuss options to have a dual sites maestro deployment has two major types of components the orchestrator which is an appliance that act as a traffic and resource allocator it sends packet to specific security gateway module and overall spreads out your traffic load amongst all of the security gateway modules assigned to handle that traffic so it act as a load balancer and also a network switch as packet that arrives on one part of the orchestrators are switched at layer 2 to output port with no routing the major component is security gateway module and these are just checkpoint firewall appliances they have to be compatible with the maestro products basically they must meet certain hardware requirement to be honest most of all current checkpoint appliances are compatible with the maestro hyperscale solutions beauty of maestro is that if you have an older appliance that need to be checked with the maestro compatibility you can start with your existing appliance cables put them into the orchestrator and set up your security gateway groups and start handling your current load but keep in mind all the time load increase traffic increase and you may need to enable more cpu intensive security blades so you can buy additional security gateway modules additional firewall appliances there is one more important uh, part of the orchestrator that your work is automated and it gives you more flexibility there are two models of the orchestrator appliance currently we have the mhl 140 which has 48 small form factor plugins all ports which each can do about 10 gigabits per second traffic handling and then eight core small form factor ports which each can do about 100 gigabits per second traffic load handling and in the core ports you can insert a four way splitter which gives you four small form factor ports so you can increase the number of ports of the module this is another module which is 170 which has 32 core small form factor ports and again you can insert four way splitter and get four ports that gives you roughly the same number of port as the 140 right you can use splitter in 170 as well as i said now this is a 140 uh appliance you can say you can see on a screen it's similar like it looks similar and have the functionality ports and everything look like look wise similar so we'll be talking about the 140 here so this orchestrator appliance comes shipped to you with the port allocated for different purposes by default you can change the purpose of the port by default on the 140 right or 170 the first four ports are designated for management traffic which is your security management server sending policy updates or whatever the updates you have made to the security groups or you can use your web user interface or a cli to change gui configuration for the security groups etc whatever the changes you have made using this ports those goes to the security groups and then your gateway there are uplink traffic ports and this accept the traffic from your various networks so you have internal networks you have dmz wireless data center and external network those networks are routing traffic and they get routed through the orchestrator which switches the incoming packet from 
uplink port to the appropriate downlink port that your security gateway module are plugged into so for a given connection the orchestrator will designate a specific downlink port that it will switch that traffic out to and so the security gateway model plugged into that downlink port which is responsible for processing the traffic of that connection and second security gateway module is designated to the backup so if the active security gateway module for the connection fails the backup will active and the state synchronization has been done between the active and the backup so it ensures that the state tables connections are up to date all the times you can have two orchestrators in your deployment and you can do so you need to do a plugin I mean to performing that you need to plug a synchronization cable between them so the maestro solution uses the notion of a security group a security group is a collection of assigned security gateway module and interfaces when traffic arrives on an uplink port that has been assigned to the security group the security group will receive the traffic the security group can given a name which you will going to use for the security gateway object in a smart console you also provide an ip address and the network configuration that to the security group and that ip address you going to use for your smart connect with the smart console for the security gateway objects and what are the changes you want to make from the smart console you would also use that ip address for the web user interface or secure cell or a party session this ip is virtually used for allocating the work to the gateways for example orchestrator appliance is the single management object appliance that will receive the policy and then transparently propagate the policy update to the other security gateway module in the security group based on the ip address of security gateway likewise you make configuration changes via the web user interfaces you're making those changes to the security gateway module to the other security gateway model will transparently given you the configuration changes